hi there guys. Oh, what a day. Um, it's been very busy, not long finished work, um, and actually just come back from the post office. Been a bit mental with these um, strokes at the moment. You know, I, I, I'd like to do a post office run once every three days or whatnot. Thanks to Helen, she did some yesterday for me, it's now Friday by the way, and I finished off uh, the remainder today. I had like 16 packages in total, which to some people doesn't sound a lot. Um, for someone like me, is a lot, if that makes sense. Sod's Law, you know, I've had a really busy week and it's on the week where we've had the postal strikes. Um, so if you have purchased from YCC Comics on eBay and you are watching this, um, again, I, I have sent video, uh, mess messages out saying apologising for this. I know it's not my fault, but um, I do like to stick with the free day uh, postage thing that you've got on eBay. I know some people do like seven days, ten days. I like to keep the free days. Because as a buyer myself, I would like to receive the items in a good amount of time. So, um, yeah, it's been a bit of a mad one. But this one today, this one is actually thanks to Alan. So if these are shit, it's his fault. If they're brilliant, cheers out. It's from a website called Pop Figures. I've kind of seen them on Facebook, but I've never actually purchased from them. And they was doing like a, what do you call it, like a raffle or a mystery box. Um, basically it was like 9.99 for a pop. Um, and you had a chance of winning certain pops. They do come in hard stacks, which is one of the reasons why I purchased this as well. The box is really heavy. Um, and I, I purchased two lots. I think in total with PMP it comes to like 20, 25 pounds, something like that. I can't remember. Um, and yeah, some of the big hits that I kind of looked at, I was like, oh, I wouldn't mind getting them. More than likely, these are going to be for resale unless I get some of the big hitters. Uh, the two that I was mainly interested in was um, a She-Hulk and the uh, OG Tony the Tiger. Now, don't get me wrong, there is some amazing pops you could potentially win or purchase. I don't know how it's going to work. Um... But those are my uh, the, the the you know the big hits. I think the big hits was about ten of them. I think um, they were the, the two that I was interested in. I do believe they do these quite often. So if you are interested, I you know I'm not gonna um, that they're not paying me or anything like that. I've not got these for free. It's just a little fun thing to do. Uh, like I said, the main reason I did it was for a YouTube video. It was only £10 and you, they come in hard stacks um, and it's a possibility you will get some good pops out of them. So yeah, if you are interested, I'll say popfigures.com, I assume, or .co.uk. Um, have a look on there. See if you want to have a gamble. Because that's what it is, really. It's a gamble. It does say, I think, values like 6 99 onwards. So you could potentially lose money. But with pop figures, same with comics, prices go up and down all the time. So these might have been valued at six ninety nine each, but now we're a little bit more. But we'll see. I've waffled on enough. So this is the box I came in. I mean, there is damage, but like I say, hard stacks, it should be well protected. I'm going to open up from the bottom, like I do with the pop culture videos. Um, I'm going to see what we've got. Alan has ordered... Two as well. I think the maximum was two per customer. He's literally messaged me ages ago. I've not seen them yet because I'm going to have a look see what it's got after this video. Um, but yeah, we're going to open these up. See what we got. Helen's there with the pricing. Again, it's with the, the Apple Funko app. Like I said, it's not always accurate, but it's a nice little indication of what we've got. So, in the box they are individually wrapped as well, which is good. This camera's going all over the place. I do apologise. Ooh, 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 I'm already happy. <laughs> but these are probably going to be Helen's. Got some jelly beans. Got some jelly beans. Actually, no, I like jelly beans. These might be mine. 
<laughs> so we've got some jelly beans, thank you very much. Um, and we've also got a sticker. You're probably going to throw out the bin. Glow in the dark. But, so that is where I've got them from. But yeah, that's a nice little touch, isn't it? Put them on the fridge. Sweeties. I'm hoping everyone got these. I'll try them later. Um, these are really cool boxes. I'm going to keep these. I'm going to reuse these. And so quite sturdy as well. Um, so right, which one first, darling? Yeah. This one. So like I say, we are hoping for, well, we're not going to get it, because I think there's like 250 blind boxes. We're hoping for a Tony Tiger or a She-Hulk or any other big hits so I can sell it and make me money back. Oh, I think I've already got this one. But it is an exclusive and it might have gone up in price. And it's in a hard stack as well, so... I might actually keep this one, to be fair. Um, I won't get it. Oh, you can get it back. Oh, it's magnetic. I kind of like that. Mm, They're nice magnetic. stacks, actually. It looks like a big pop. Bigger than normal pop size. Hmm, I like these cases. So we've, got, we've had this one before. I'm going to tell it out the box because we can't really see it. Oh, I do like them, they're nice. I'm gonna order some more just for these, I think. So, it's not a big hit, um, purely because I've had these from Pop Culture Boxes before. Uh, it is a, a Funko exclusive, but it's still not that pricey. However, I might be able to sell this because it's Marvel, so you never know. I might be able to get some money back from it. So we've got the Watcher. I'm pretty sure I've already got this one. I will double check. Um, if I have got it, what I might do, I might keep this one and just get the best one. So we have the Watcher, so if you have seen previous videos, you'll have seen this. The price on that one is... That's right. £22. Really? Freak me, alright. <clears throat> Excuse me. £22. Pound. Um, do you know, I'm, I'm actually going to keep that one. I'm not going to keep it in the box because that's, I'm going to use these for a couple of my Stan Lee ones, I think. And I say, that's really cool, I do like that. So, if we're going by the Funko app, I paid £25 for it. We've pretty much got our money back on that one, which is good. If I do sell it, it won't be £20, it'll be 15 because I've seen them on eBay go for a better price anyway. Next one, what do we want? She-Hulk. Or... Oh, I forgot. Damn it, the tiger. Oh, oh gee. Tiger. I'm close my eyes for this one. Oh. Okay. No, I like that one. Okay. I kind of like that one. I've been looking at getting these, actually. Um, no, I like that one. I'm probably going to keep both of these, if I'm honest. This just means I'm going to have to get the... I'll explain in a minute once you've seen it. Um, but this is a squirt... This might be a price one. This is a, a squirt one. If Al's got any more... If you've got the other Pokemons, Al, I'll probably get them off you, mate. Um, now, I've been looking at these in Tesco's, not this one. Um, but, you know, the... What's this one? A colourless one, I suppose you'd call it. I'm not actually sure what you'd call it. Um, but I've seen the, the, the commons of these in Tesco's, uh, for, well, back in the day, for like £10 each. The only reason I didn't pick them all up is because they didn't have bulbs or... Uh, the plan was to get uh, the original three, which is bulbs or squirt or... Uh, Charmander and a Pikachu. I'm going to be on the lookout for some Pokemon pops now. I think. I kind of. I think that's going to be pricey. Ah, oh, it's bad. I don't say. Oh, I'll probably sell one. It's better than a Marvel Mystery Box, to be fair. I come from pop culture. I didn't want any of them. That's even better. Right. What we're going to do, if you don't mind, darling. That's not come up with anything. We are going to look on eBay. We're at nine minutes, but I want to know the price of this. Uh, where's your eBay app, darling? 
right at the front. There it is. Right, so we want, let's have a look. Funko. I'm actually going to order another one of these because I'm quite impressed, if I'm honest. So, let me have a look. That's out of the box. Okay, so, silver crown, of course. That's come up on eBay uh, for brand new at £11.82. So I'm I'm quite happy with that. Let's just check the watcher. So we're probably we're probably going into this now. We're um let's spell watcher wrong. We're eBaying this stuff. We we're, we're finding how much these actually are. I I can see the watches like really crap. Uh twelve pound fifty. So we've made our money back, I suppose. Um, but again, I'm going to. I'm probably going to keep both of these. But these are amazing. I I really like these, and the fact that they're, you know, that is really cool. Um, yeah, now I will definitely buy another two. I'm really happy with them. And stuff I want. And I say the watch, yeah, when I got it first time, I was like, shall I get it, shall I, uh, shall I keep it, shan't I? Now I've got it in this, so I'm probably going to keep it, if I'm honest. Um, Mark owed me some money, so that's paid for them. So I've not really lost any money on these. Um, how many got sweets? So yeah, I'm, I'm impressed with them. I'm going to go on eBay in a minute and look for the other Pokemon. Um, I'm not fussed if it's like commons or the chromes, as long as I've got one of each, I think. I'm not going to go mad and get like the Eevees, I just want the original starter Pokemon. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with them. Uh, hopefully Alan's happy with them too, and again, if he's got a um, another Pokemon one, I'll be happy to either buy it off him or swap him for something. I think there's something that he wanted of mine. I said, well, if, you know, we'll if you've got some we'll swap it but yeah we'll sort that out but um yeah again i forgot the name of the bloody um pop figures popfigures.com they haven't sponsored me or anything like that um and i'm not saying to you guys go out and buy these but in my experience i'm actually happy with what i've got um more so you know pop in a box they were okay but my first order from them was rubbish this has been a better experience in ordering from pop in a box subscriptions excuse me pop culture again absolutely brilliant I, I will carry on purchasing from them but that last mystery box for marvel was in my opinion rubbish because i didn't want to keep any this one i'm, I'm keeping both of them i don't care i'm keeping both of them um so yeah i'm really happy with that really happy with that i'm going to check see if i've got that watcher somehow i'm pretty sure i have but um <coughs> Yeah, I have waffled on a hell of a lot. I, I'm a happy bunny. I like them. I'm going to ask how when I did another one. I'm going to buy some more. Right, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you've stuck this long, then you're legends. Um, and again, if you have ordered from YCC Comics this week or from last Friday up to uh, today, again, apologies for the, the you know late dispatch time. Um, certain post office wasn't taking you packages in which is understandable because you don't have to get backlogged um but yeah we found one and if if you have ordered one your item is now on its way unless you ordered it today which was a, a person who ordered a what if ghost rider that'll be going tomorrow but yeah right thanks anyway guys enjoy your weekend and I'll speak to you soon